That's it. That's the computer. Got my keyboard, got my mouse. So then from here, you can do different things. Like I could go in here and browse internet, for instance. What's up guys? Um, all right, so you know what I like to do on this channel, um, anything technology, engineering, construction management related, I like to talk about. So this is something that I came across that I thought you guys would really think was interesting. Uh, everything that's going on in the world right now, everybody's working from home and you know, doing school from home. I know that computers and technology can be expensive. So this is something that I came across that I thought you guys would think was interesting uh, because of that. So let me just show you guys what it is. And this is it. Uh, so the name of it is, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi 4 computer. One of the most fascinating things about it is the price. Look at that, $55. Um, it was actually cheaper than that. It was only $50. And the thing with this is it's basically a computer. And it's basically the size of a debit card. So this is it. Let me just put this. It's the Raspberry Pi 4 computer. And it is a computer. So this port right here is the power port. This is for USB-C. So with this, you can use any charger, basically. Like I'm using my Apple charger right now to charge my, my uh, MacBook. So I could use this power to plug straight into here to give the, the circuit or you know, to give the whole computer power. And it has two ports for display. So you could plug in HDMI, uh, micro cords into these displays enough for two two screens um, they have this right here which is a headphone jack uh, and on this side it has a uh, two USB ports here and then another two USB ports here this is the 3.0 this is 2.0 um, also has a network adapter so you could um, hardwire your Ethernet plug straight into here um, and then it also has Wi-Fi as well. So you could connect to any Wi-Fi network that's in range and also uh, Bluetooth as well. So you could connect your Bluetooth headphones or speakers to it as well to, to output audio. And uh, last but not least, on the bottom is a port for a little mini SD card. So the thing with this whole thing is the only storage device that's on here is or you know storage device for for the actual operating system is here you know it goes here on your actual micro sd card so i'll walk through and show you guys how to install the operating system on the sd card so um you would need to do that on like a traditional you know laptop or um even a a, a desktop that has like a a port for the mini uh, micro usb um, yeah, so it has a few different operating system, systems that you can download and you can use on here. So I have one on here actually by uh, Raspberry. Um, so I'll uh, load this thing up and I'll show you, you know, what that looks like. First and foremost, the first thing you want to do when you set up a Raspberry Pi is open up the Raspberry Pi imager. So you're going to do that. Open that up. So we already got it opened up. We got version 1.4. Um, so first thing you do is choose the operating system. You're gonna choose the first one, Pi OS 32 bit. Choose the card. Okay, so I got a 32 gigabyte card. Okay, so Okay, here we go. And then click right. 
and he's got the message letting you know all existing data on the mass storage device will be erased. Do you want to continue? Yes. Let's come put our password in. And there you go. It's going. It's writing. So you just wait until it's done, and then that's it. And I'll show you guys the next step after that. Um, so the interesting thing about this is uh, it's a computer. So the only thing you need here is you need a display, a keyboard, and a mouse. So if you have any of those hanging around, you just add that to this system, and then you, you're basically you're able to up and, up and uh, start running. So luckily, I have a monitor here, HDMI monitor, and a keyboard. So I just wanna take this, plug this thing up, I just want to show you guys how you actually set it up. All right, so almost got everything. Got the keyboard. Throw this up here. And um, yeah, so I just want to show you guys how this thing works. So first we plug up the HDMI cable. Plug that here into HDMI port. Put that there like so. Um, we're gonna take uh, this, this keyboard. Make sure you plug this up. So I have the USB for the keyboard. I'll plug this into the port number two. Let's do that there. So we got that. Let's put that in the top. Um, all right, so we also have my USB for my wireless mouse. I'll just plug that up. Plug that also in the 2.0 USB slot. Put that there. And um, yeah. And then last but not least, the power. That's the last thing that we have to, that we want to plug up. So let me just take this. And this we just plug here. Let's get power. USB-C, and then as you can see, it starts to light up. As the display starts to, to turn on. So this is the operating system Raspberry Pi actually makes for it. So this is like the default one that you wanna install. As you guys can see, that's it. That's the computer. Got my keyboard, got my mouse. So then from here, you can do different things. Like I could go in here and browse internet, for instance. So from here, you could, let's say you want to go into your Gmail. Well, make sure that the keyboard is on. And from here, let's say you want to go in your, uh, into your Gmail. into here but boom just like that log into my gmail so then from here you know this software does have some limitations so it's a uh, four gigabytes of ram and has no hard drive space um, that comes actually on the board so any hard drive you would plug into here you would want to plug it into the USB-C slots itself so the only thing with this is you wouldn't want to download any software like anything like um, Microsoft Office or AutoCAD or Bluebeam or Adobe PDF Reader or anything like that because it's probably going to be just too much for, for this computer itself. So everything that you would want to do, just do it online. You know, we're connected to Wi-Fi on here. 
um, and it's easy to do that. The first time that you that you plug this, uh, that you plug it in, you power it up, it'll actually you know connect to the Wi-Fi. But uh, if you do want to switch it, you know, you switch it over here in the corner. Click on the Wi-Fi, and you see all the different Wi-Fi's that pop up. Click on the one you want, and then put in the password, and you're good to go. So, also from here, I just wanted to show you guys this. You could go to your drive, and this is how you can access your files. So if you have Word documents, Excel documents, PDFs, PowerPoints, uh, you know, anything, you could come onto here, and then click on whichever document you need, and you can load it up here, and actually edit it inside uh, Google Docs. So you can go in here and make your edits, um, you know, or what have you. Or here you could, uh, you know, save it, PDF it. Um, so then also with this, um, you could, you could connect a printer. I mean, you could probably connect the, the printer to one of these ports as well. Um, haven't tried it yet. I would, you know, demand a lot on the system. So I would probably uh, connect your printer to the network and and connect to it that way to print uh, to print information. So yeah. So um, you no. Know, so you could do almost anything. You go to any website. Um, you could log on to Microsoft Office um, for work. You know, if you guys need to do that. Just log in, put your information in. You have access to everything, to your email, your Outlook, Microsoft Teams you have access to on here. Um, so right out of the box, it doesn't come with a camera, but uh, um, you could like uh, add on to it. So the thing that makes this interesting, this Raspberry Pi is the fact that it's like a, a customizable computer. So you could kind of do anything you want to with it. So. Um, it has different programs on here for programming. You could uh, connect different uh, different hardware, like different robots and different um, STEM tutorial um, exercises and stuff like that that you could access to connect to here. This is a GPIO ports, um, and we could you know go into like deeper detail with uh, these ports. But uh, basically, you could like connect it to external hardware and um, control it with uh, the Raspberry Pi. So um, so like I said, it, it doesn't come out of the box with the camera, but um, I was doing some shopping today. So I'll probably you know, talk to you guys about this. You know, I'll install this. This is the Raspberry Pi camera, the V2 version two. So uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So I'll take a look at this. And um, a couple other things I got since I was just uh, I'm talking about it. This one, Raspberry Pi, the seven inch touchscreen display. So this was only $60. The camera was 25 and uh, this is 50. So that's yeah, not too bad. I mean, say for work, you need a computer and a camera. So for 50, 75, and you know, if you have like a monitor at home, you could plug this into your actual TV as well. Um, you know, if you want to do that, you know, if you, if you have, if you don't have a monitor, but uh, you could just use any old keyboard that you have clunking around. You know, it doesn't have to be wireless. It could be the, the wired one. You can plug it up. Same thing with the mouse. You could plug that up and um, you could be up and running for under a hundred dollars, you know, um, you know, using, uh, using this for work or also for school. Um, so let me switch back over to my Google. So let's say uh, you're a student and you want to go in, into here and you want to use uh, Google Classroom. So Google Classroom is also um, available on here and uh, it's able to work. So so if you have a Google Classroom account, you can go in here and then you can join in into your different classes and, and, uh, and what have you. So, so there are tons of opportunities and um, different things you could do with this. and. Um, the thing that makes it interesting is the price. Like I said, under $100, you know, just for the computer itself, the thing is $50. You know, you're not gonna find a computer for cheaper than that. Um, you know, and the good thing about it is you could 
use whatever you have. You know, just put it together, slap it together, and um, and get it going and, and be productive. All right, so that's probably why I'll end this one. And um, I'm gonna go further and explore everything else you guys see here. Um, I'll just let me show you what else I got here. So this one's a speaker and a little LCD screen. So you could take this little bad boy, plug it up, probably with uh, these ports, the GPIO ports. You could wire it up and, um, you know, say if you didn't want to run it with the actual monitor, if you had a different setup where you just wanted to use the computer with the little LCD screen, the little speaker, you know, then you could do that. So, you know, the options are really endless. Uh, with this thing so this is a little wireless keyboard that i got with it so you know in case if i don't want to bring this around if i want to just you know use this you know, if you're using it in, in a different setting if you're using this for you can set this up for like a server um, there's tons of stuff you could do with this you could actually take this to your to your job you know at your office plug this up to your computer you know if you're if you're your if your employer doesn't have the the capability to, to do VPN for you know for its employees, you can actually set this up yourself on your computer and be able to access it from uh, from home remotely. So you know, there's tons of opportunities and tons of different things you guys can do with the to do with this this Raspberry Pi. So um, you know, I'm just kind of figuring finding out about it. Uh, I've been doing programming coding for for a while for you know, over 10 years, but 